my name is Kira and welcome to Mystique and Illusions. Now today we're gonna do a harvest video and I thought it would be fun to turn myself into harvest corn. Um, so I'm gonna be using all the products that are listed down in the description box below for today's makeup. And uh, go ahead and check out my other socials if you wanna see more content. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys and let's get started. Okay guys, to kick off today's video, I'm going to start using a brow gel on my eyebrows. I really didn't feel like using glue on them today, so I just went with a normal cosmetic brow gel. Now, the whole concept of this body painting is to emulate the harvest corn colors. So we're gonna do purple, yellow, and orange. I'm starting with a purple water-based color on my body and chest, and I'm fading it up into yellow, which is also a water base. Now, I am not worried too much about my streakiness texture here um, for a couple reasons. One, I kind of want that texture from the husk corn that you see that has all those lines in it. But also, I will eventually be going back in with colored foundation, just so then my face and neck are a little bit more opaque. After I blend in the yellow into the purple, I go ahead and start contouring with orange body paint. Now, as I start contouring with this orange body paint, it's a little tricky to blend, so you really want a very wet brush with a little bit of pigment on there because at first I did put way too much pigment on my forehead so what you'll see me end up doing to kind of cancel that out is go ahead and use um, a brush with a little bit more water on it and kind of brush it out and fade it and then when I go in with my cream yellow foundation you'll see me going over just a little bit of that orange so then it can kind of blend into each other and not be such a harsh line. I'd like to note to let you guys know, always powder in between your layers of makeup. It just makes it a lot easier for everything to stick down. Now for highlights, I go in with a white body paint and I just blend it out into the yellow that I've already laid down. Now I go in with orange cream foundation just so then I can help make that color a little bit more opaque but also blend a little bit more into that yellow. After I'm happy with my base, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to some orange eyeshadows to go ahead and start setting the orange already done but also deepening it so it's even more contour. I'm going to go ahead and do that on my cheekbones, my temples, my jawline, and my nose and a little bit under my lip just so my lip looks a little bit thicker. 
I'm also going in on those areas of your neck where you can see those tendrils. Go ahead and um, apply generously some primer. I like to use Too Faced primer. It's one of my favorite primers. It helps me a lot with body painting. Um, I've not really tried many other ones, so if you guys have a different one you want to do, that's perfectly fine. Also, don't mind me singing to the music I'm blaring out loud right now that you can't hear. <laughs> um, and I prime my eyes on my body paint so then that shadow is really pigmented and can really be seen on top of that paint. So I'm going for a purple kind of dark um, shadowy color and I'm making it as round as I can especially up above that um, brow bone to make it nice and round I thought it'd be an interesting shape to look at but once I lay down my purples I try to go dark corners and then lighter shades into the center until I hit a little bit of white in the corner now to make it even a little bit more interesting I go ahead and take some orange eyeshadow and go under my waterline with it. So I did this um, technique here a little bit different than what I was thinking about doing. Now these are the kernels of the corn. So it's um, these little dots. I thought about making them very close together and doing like entirely detailed kernels. But then I thought, you know, I kind of just don't really want to do that so I thought it would be nice to do just little textured dots what I'm doing is starting with a dark purple I'm trying to do various sizes so at the bottom of my chest they're the biggest and um, they get smaller as we go up um, but also on the face on the outside closer to your ears I made them a little bit bigger and then smaller and smaller as they go into my face and then after I do purple I do a little bit of light purple just to add a little bit of dimension to it and then I go in with orange and red and do the same. And even a little yellow too. Now for the lip, I'm going in with purple to match the eyeshadow. And another way I'm going to bring the eyeshadow and the lip and the eyebrows all together is I'm going to make my eyebrows orange. Now I start with doing a base color of purple, so like a lighter purple, and then I go in with almost like an eggplant purple and do the um, outline of my lips and then even a little tiny little bit of black. Now for my eyebrows, I go in with a pretty dark orange and I just kind of shape out my natural brows that I have because uh, I didn't glue them down so we don't want to do something crazy different from what we have. And I kind of feather them up a little bit to get a little bit more realism to them. And I go ahead and do a winged eyeliner. Um, I didn't feel like putting on eyeliner, so I did black body paint. And that concludes the look on top of the crown that I made in my free time for it. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time with Christmas videos. Bye!